Good evening again, everybody. I'm Adrian O'Farrell. I'm joined by Irish women's rugby legend Fiona Coughlin, former Grand Slam winning captain. And uh, you're all very welcome to Ashburn this evening. It's fairly windy this evening, which may have a bearing on conditions. The, uh, the opportunity for just a second ever win over England as, our, as Katie McLean drops off. England are playing with quite a strong win, so they'll look to use that to their advantage in the first half, and it'll be difficult for Ireland to get out of their own half. England pop back inside, and that's a good break. Alexander Matthews, oh, again, good hit though. To be honest, it's a bit disappointing to see England make a break like that um, so early because the girls would have been very aware of that inside ball. They did a lot against Italy, and it, they should have been the hustle on the inside should have been wide awake to that, particularly so early in the game when you're fresh. It's something they will try all day. Got a strike. Or it's yeah, it's oh, good. it is. It's uh, just crept inside the left hand post. So, Larissa Muldoon to tap. Sophie Spence will take this one on. Yeah, that's great power from Sophie Spence. She's really actually taking the ball up very well tonight. Penalty advantage. Penalty advantage. And I don't have numbers out here. It's Sophie Spence and Heather O'Brien in the wide channel. It's a long advantage. Indeed, she's going to come back now to. Give Ireland the penalty. Good strike. Triple strike from Lee Brick right over the black spot there. Ireland equalised. That's gone. Well, ooh, That's a great scrum by England. England. Really recover because Ireland had the initial nudge on there. Penalty. Penalty to England. Penalty advantage, yes. Ireland looked like they were trying to try. win there. That's actually a try. They got over. To the left and wide again as the halftime whistle blows. So it's 8 uh, 3. So 8 3 to England. The uh, kind of feature of the first half, they really struggled for continuity and, and, and momentum. Had it once or twice, not quite taking their chance when they handled it close to the line, whereas England did. Yeah, and you know, I think it's so small, you don't get many chances. When you get them, you've got to take them. Uh, that's Knock four by Rochelle Chark, try kick to head, but it'll be a knock on to Ireland, so a positive start. Oh, she's got great power. Well done, now we... Marjorie Wider, Marjorie Louise Riley takes it on. Offside, it's a little uncontrolled. But again, England penalised for no reason to the tackle. Marissa Muldoon, has she gone over? Yes! Marissa Muldoon, very quick there to tap and go off that penalty. Yeah, they... They took a few quick taps earlier that weren't really that quick. England were set in the defensive line. Larry took a really quick one there. England weren't even back, so great vision by her. And indeed, she's pulled that to the left and wide, and you can hear almost the shock in the, in the reaction of the crowd at that. So it remains tight at eight all. On the short side, they go. Again, they learned from earlier on the match to, to be patient, not to panic. They got the reward then, can they get it now? Julian Burke takes it on. Hannah Gallagher well in there. But does just enough, Trenton Murphy takes that on, big hit. McLean again, was it? Oh, Ga I don't think it was McLean, oh, no, no. that is two terrific tackles from McLean, right? Oh. And he's to Ireland! Go for the posts here. Absolutely. I don't know why she's taking it back three or four meters, but, but it is in front of the post. It's a Neve seems to have opportunity. a bit of cramp, cramp there as well. for England and plays from Blackburn. Here's their last, surely their last goal with this. They move away. Well, it's knocked on. Knocked on. And there we oh, have the final right. whistle at last. Referee Berard. I'm pretty sure he's in for this time. So the crowd reacts. Ireland hasn't been the prettiest, but they got over the line. They've done what they needed to do in the end. No, a win's 
a win. Um, you know, there'll be aspects of the game that they'll be disappointed in, um, but that'll put them in good stead going into the Wales game.